Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bud. The new Camacho Pro Leaf. Let's check it out. My friends, the new Camacho Pro Leaf Toro. I was excited to hear that Camacho spring out a new series. I think the last one we had, uh, new release wise, was the Camacho Nicaragua. And that is already a couple of years ago. Can't remember if we had like one of the Liberty series in between, but I don't think so. Uh, so, uh, good one. Uh, at least that they announced something new uh, and there are a couple of things in that cigar uh, or at least one thing in that cigar uh, that when I heard it I thought oh man let's see if that is going to work out but we come to that very traditional Toro uh, it has a ring gauge of 50 and is a more or less exactly six inches long here in Germany it's around for the Toro 11 euro I think the Robusto is like 10 euros and the Gordo is a little bit more expensive but more or less let's say in the 10 euro range uh, which is which is man really cool especially if you're taking into account um, all that price increases not only Cubans I mean throughout the whole cigar market take Fuente, take Placencia, Davidov no matter what you're looking left and right and every everything is getting real real expensive mm. chocolatey sweet sweet chocolate oh and a very strong uh, Earth. Earth, yeah. That's interesting. The wrapper is looking a little bit, let's say, rough. But, I mean, quality wise, you're looking at it, cap and everything else. Uh, good job. Really good job. I would say, let's get it started. <clears throat> a little bit windy out here today. The weather is nice, I would say that's one of the last real nice October days. We have like, I don't know, 19, 20 degrees Celsius. And a little bit cloudy, more or less the perfect, for me, cigar weather. You know, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. A little bit windy, but not too much. Mm. That chocolate sweetness. Definitely there in the first few puffs. Also the earth. It's interesting because very often the the cold draw and the smell not necessarily corresponds with the real taste of the cigar. Sometimes that happens, sometimes not like 50-50 chance. My wife, not a cigar smoker, not smoking at all. Uh, uh, very often she says that she loves the smell when she's going like, for example, in a walk-in humidor or just when she's in the same room with me and I'm walking my, my cabinet humidor. She said she loves that smell of it. Uh, but as soon as the cigar is lit, you know, of course that changed because the smoke itself it's not smelling as 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 nice uh, as the as the cold tobacco smell, but even then she says a couple of cigars. Oh, they're they're smelling nice, and a few others say, "Oh man, that's that's not my cup of tea." Good 
good start, really. So I said there's at, at least one thing that surprised me when they announced the, the new Camacho, Camacho Pro Leaf, and that was the wrapper. It's the wrapper is a Pro Leaf, that's where the name is coming from, uh, from Honduras. And really, I can't remember that I ever smoked a cigar that had an Honduran Pro Leaf. Never heard of it. So, uh, you know, not 100% sure, so I don't want to say like Camacho invented it or they were the first. Maybe there are others out there who already used an, uh, a Pro Leaf tobacco leaf um, from Honduras. But uh, I just not heard of it. So if you know one, a brand, a cigar, whatever, put it down in the comments um, and like me. Our binders also coming from Honduras, filler from Honduras and the Dominican Republic. God was coming out in September, I think the 15th or something like this, here in Germany. In the United States it was just a couple of days earlier. And it was also a good thing because sometimes, especially Camacho, uh, they're bringing out something new in the United States and then like a year later it pops up in Germany. Right now, with this cigar, it was like almost simultaneously, you know. So, United States and just a couple of days later it was here in Germany. Cool. They don't make like a whole marketing campaign out of it. It was really like, it was just there, you know. Um, I was reading the press release, I don't know, in, in August, July, August, whenever, you know. And then nothing happened. And then one day it just was there in the store, you know. So, but I think Camacho, even here in Germany, has enough fans that they were, I want to say they were waiting for desperately. Because there are a real couple of good Camacho cigars out there. Uh, and for me, that's one of my daily smoke brands. Uh, I think it never happened that I don't have at least one Camacho brand or series. Uh, the Corojo Ecuador, one of my go-to sticks. They are almost any time, any given time in my Chumido or the, um, the barrel aged. Love that stick. So, what I want to uh, explain is a couple of my buddies were smoking that cigar earlier. I mean, not earlier release date wise, but before I smoked it. And like 9 out of 10 people said, man, I don't like that cigar. It's, I had this bitterness, it was probably too fresh or whatever, you know. But really, almost everybody said, man, it's not a good stick, you know. So what I do is, and there were a couple of people that I trust, you know, where I say, okay, they they know what they're doing. Uh, they're like, let's say, experienced cigar smokers. I know their taste, you know. So I said, oh, wow, that that's disappointing. Nevertheless, I said, I may have to try it, you know. It, it's cool, you don't like it, fine with that, but I have to try it anyways, you know. Uh, no matter what you say, to see if I have the same feeling or not. And here we go. Already had like three or four. Uh, I think I had the Rubusos, I had also the Taurus, and now that's the fifth or sixth, whatever cigar uh, I smoked. So I think I have a good like feeling uh, uh, how it is, you know. Because sometimes you just have a bad cigar. That happens, you know. It shouldn't, but uh, it happens. Let's see how it works. Well 
So my friends, back with the Camacho Proat Leaf with an Honduran wrapper. Proat Leaf wrapper. Um, entering the last third. Burn is a little bit burn is a little bit wonky, but really uh, I have to say a little bit windy out here, so um, I think that's the reason. Because all the all the all the proat leaves I smoked earlier this week, um, they had no issue with the burn, so I think it's the wind. Uh, ash is white. Um, always had a good draw. Um, it developed real nicely. That that creamy feeling that you have sometimes in your mouth that intensified a little bit. Uh, that chocolatey sweetness is always there together with the earth. And I think like in somewhere in the middle, um, I had a little bit of not sure pepper spice something like this uh, and it since then it like comes up a little bit and then it it uh, it fades out and then it's coming back so that gives you it gives you the let's say the feeling uh, of complexity you know it's not always the same thing so and it's always nice to smoke especially if you have a toro where you're smoking a little bit longer, like an hour or a little bit longer. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's also cool if you have a cigar that has good flavors and it has the good flavors all the time, you know, but nothing against a little bit flexibility, uh, <laughs> um, flavor-wise. I think really they did, a, they did a good job on that one. It all almost reminds me a little bit of the old Camachos, um, the ones that you had before Davido was taking over. Um, that that nice old Camachos, you know, with that really simple brown band. Uh, for and I remember the time here back in Germany, it was like three or four euros. If you're telling now you were buying a really top quality cigar for three four euros. Uh, Camacho people nowadays think you're crazy, but good old times. Never had that, never had that feeling. A couple people were telling me, um, as I said earlier, where they said, ah, it's a little bit bitter and too fresh. I don't have that at all, really. It, it feels like a well aged cigar. Uh, yes, it's 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 not fresh, but it's a new cigar, so it was not like uh, laying around in the um, in the commercial facilities for five six years, you know. Uh, but it's not like a fresh rolled cigar, no way. Um, never had that bitterness. Sometimes that spice pepper thing turns into bitterness, but I don't have that. And also, a couple of people tell, uh, told me that. Uh, the cigar was was going out on them a couple of times and they had to retouch it No problem with that one really As I said only thing really was the is the burn but I said I'm smoking outside so I'm not taking that into account Very good Camacho if you're a Camacho fan go and try that uh, It's if you already like Camacho you won't be disappointed with this one. If you're not a Camacho fan, you probably won't have a whole lot of fun with that one, I would think, because also it's it's quite unique with that Honduran Proat Leaf. It's still a Camacho and it still has that signature thing going on when you're smoking a Camacho. And also know a couple of people, they don't touch Camacho at all. But as I said, one of my dailies. Guys, enjoy that cigar, really. Uh, smoke a good cigar. Enjoy life most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. I see you around at Smoke Spot. Cheers.